So, back to studying our syllabus topic, which is capital allowances on plant and machinery. So remember from the syllabus topic, we were talking first of all about the definition of what plant and machinery is. Can you remember all of that? We talked about all the different categories. And then we were talking about all the allowances you get, get the annual investment allowance. Remember not for cars, maximum 50,000. The 100% FYA for low emission cars, the 40% FYA for other plant and machinery, but not cars, not things in the special rate pool bought in that special offer period between the 6th of April 09 and the 5th of April 10. Can you see all these rules you've got to learn? It's a lot, isn't it? So uh, that's why it needs practice to make perfect. So the next stage is how to work out the allowances. Now, this requires you to learn a pro forma. Do you remember one of the things I said you have to do to pass um, F6 is to learn pro formas? And this is one of the first ones and probably one of the most important ones to calculate capital allowances on plant and machinery. So what you need to do is you need to put all your columns across the page, your general pool and your special rate pool and your expensive car brought forward and your car with private use by the owner and then a column for the business use, uh, which is this column here, and then a column for capital allowances. And then down the left-hand side, you have to have all your lines here, the brought forward balance and the additions that get the... Um, the annual investment allowance, uh, but not the 40% FYA. Then you've got your annual investment allowance, and then you've got your high emission cars and your medium emission cars and your disposals all go in there. Then balancing allowance and balancing charges, you get something, and then you've got the WDA down there. The next line is the additions that get the AIA and the FYA. And then there's the AIA, and then the FYA, and then the low emission car, and then the 40% F, 100% uh, sorry, 100% FYA, and then the carry forward figures. So quite a lot of learning to learn all those lines off by heart. So quite a lot. So just to illustrate the pro forma and how to calculate cap allowances. I'd like to do this little example with you here. This is sort of taken from a past exam question, um, just extracting the bit um, from what, what was called note seven, which is on plant and machinery. So if you look at the question, you're asked to calculate the capitalizers for this company called SOFA, and you're calculating them for the year to March 2010. Now, the year to March 2010 runs from the 1st of April 09 to the 31st of March 2010. That's the period that's covered uh, by uh, the accounts. And we're going to calculate the uh, depreciation, uh, the taxation depreciation available in that period. So we've got the brought forward balances. Now you can see here that there's a brought forward balance on the general pool that's going to go in at line one. And then you've got this motor car here which is 16,400. Now that's just one motor car. So that's obviously going to be an expensive motor car, isn't it? Because it's brought forward, expensive car brought forward. And does everybody remember uh, the rule about the maximum WDA for that one is 3,000 pounds. Now the other thing we've got here is some, uh, what we call it, um, additions. And we've got to look at where these are going to go, which box they're going to go in. And we write that at the side. So, for example, this equipment is going to go into the general pool. And we write general pool next to it. And in the general pool, 61,400, well, obviously, it's going to get the AIA. But obviously, the AIA will only be £50,000. And we'll also get something called the FYA at 40% because if you can see here that the 40% FYA is available for things that are in the general pool so we can say FYA 40% so there's it's got to be in the general pool not cars and purchased in the special offer period 1st of April 09 to March 10 for companies so we can see that this item here 
is in the general pool, it's not a car, and it's bought in May 09. That's the date that it was bought on. And so therefore it can get the 40% FYA. The next one is a motor car. Now this motor car um, is called motor car number one. Uh, remember this is just newly being bought, so we're not involved with expensive or cheap. Um, it says here, um, the motor car uh, uh, has a carbon dioxide emission, number one, of 199 grams. So that means that it's a high car, more than 160. And so therefore, do you remember that that one goes into the special rate pool? So I'm going to write special rate pool next to it. And that one gets no AIAs, but only the WDA at 10%. Now we have another motor car. Now this one is motor car 2 and it's got a carbon dioxide emission of 153 grams. So this one is a medium CO2 car. So that one, if you remember, goes into the general pool and as such gets a WDA at 20%. The third one is a motor car with a carbon dioxide emission of 105 grams. So that's a low emission car. And that one goes into the general pool, and that one gets an FYA at 100%. And then we've got some sales as well. So we've got four things that are being bought, and two things that are being sold. The lorry um, is being sold. I mean, the difficult thing about sales is, is which box they're going to come out of. And this one is going to come out of the general pool because it's a lorry. And we're also selling motor car number two. Now, motor car number two, if you remember back up here, is um, a medium car. So that's all going to be a sale out of the general pool as well. So once you've got all the information, the next stage of the journey is to work out the capital allowances. So let's see if we could do that. So let me show you how to do that. So what you do is to do the capital allowances on the plant and machinery. We're going to use that pro forma. So what we do is we set up our accounting uh, period like that. We put that in the left hand side. Then we have a column for AIA and FYA. We then have a column for the general pool and we have a column for the expensive car brought forward and we have a column for the special rate pool as well and then a last column for capital allowances. So the best thing to do is, is then to set up the uh, pro forma and we're going to have the first line which is tax written down value brought forward and that's going to be 16,700 in this column and 16,400 in this column. Picking the figures from the question. So that's going to be this figure and this one as well. Now we're going to bring in all the additions um, at the right place on the pro forma. But before we do that, I'm going to write down the pro forma first. So I'm going to write down uh, my tax written down value brought forward. And then I'm going to write line two and then line three. Now line three is... Um, our next line and line four is the next one. Now line four is high CO2 cars. And we've got a high CO2 car and we're going to put that one in. So the car um, is going to go in uh, there. Then we're going to have line five which is medium cars. And we've got one of those as well, haven't we? And then we're going to have line six, which is disposals. OK, and we've got two disposals to go in. 
So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw uh, a line across each of the columns, all right? And then I'm going to...